It used to be known as a slick pimp in the second season, but now it looks like it's going to be torn down. All the stairs are gone and everything that was down there with it. And uh, if you look over there, ironically, there's uh, the car from the last movie, the El Camino that's used in Manhor Alley. I wasn't even expecting that one. It just kind of came out of nowhere. But that's kind of funny. That over there is the SBCA using the file movie Countdown to Liquor Day. Bubbles creates a plot in order to get his cats back with the boys. However, the security gets them before they can get them, and Tyrone goes to jail. The Yum Yum Cafe is where Ricky took Sarah out for Chinese food and saw a Julian cinnamon roll head. Behind me is the shop Trina visited to buy pepperoni for Ricky in the second season, and it's also the place where she pawned her bike off to Corey and Trevor. In Countdown to Liquor Day, you may remember Leahy chasing down Ricky, Julian and Bowles, as well as Randy, in the Sunfire. See them come to a screeching halt over here and have a little conversation. Laundromat over there is the same one Corey and Trevor robbed in the third season when they were getting money for the cruise ship. This location is supposedly in Maine. It's actually in Halifax, but it was the train convention where it was hosted by Sebastian Bach. The boys came to check out the train convention because Bubbles wanted to see it. This Wilson's gas station was used in the final movie, Countdown to Liquor Day. After the boys get out of jail, Bubbles stops here. There's not much of this scene in the last movie, but if you watch the extra scenes, you can actually see a scene of Bubbles going there buying a sandwich. Just behind me over there is where Julian went to buy gear for Ray when his trailer burned down with Corey and Trevor in the fifth season. 